you think about what incarceration originally began as, it was being sequestered away from other people to basically reflect on yourself, reflect on your faith, and reflect on the crimes that you've committed. We're here at a jail in Ukiah, California, putting together a chicken coop, and it makes me so happy to see everyone here, from the sheriff to the guards and the prisoners, are all very excited about this chicken coop. <laughs> the guys in the garden crew have been asking me every day when we're going to build the coop. It's interesting because they feel really badly about how small their space is that the chickens are in at the moment and they can really identify with not being able to have freedom and so they feel a lot of empathy for the, the chickens. They care for them very deeply already. Well, I worry about them, but then also I think about them needing to be fed and um, if they have water. I actually want to get some chickens when I get out. 99.9% .9 of everybody who goes to jail will get out. They will, right? Uh, once in a blue moon, you'll get a, a terrible crime where somebody catches life. Yep. But besides that, everybody's going to get out. So do we want them to get out better, different, moving forward, or do we want them to get out and repeat right. the cycle? Right. Most people, if you give them the tools and the training and the trust to be able to do it, they're going to meet the expectations. Yep. And, and they want to. Everybody wants to do yes. something good every day. Yep. I believe that. This is Matt. He built chicken coops. Hi, guys. Lawrence. Lawrence. I keep hearing your name come Josh. up. Josh, nice, nice to meet you. you. We can use a tape measure. This one's got some bright, clean numbers. Who's good, who's good at math? All right, who's got the good eye? All right, so if I can get someone on the transit. So what happens is when we sight those crosshairs, that's perfectly level as it kind of scans left to right. Yep, and just don't bump. It's easy to bump the tripod. They're gonna be doing 99% of the work, so we've never done that. I've never been out in a yard surrounded by barbed wire, but you know what? It disappears. It, it, it's, it's amazing. Look, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. That is what is so priceless about what we're doing. That all disappears. All right, it's about to get real. So when I refer to zero, I'm referring to this as zero. Two of you just got measured corner to corner. So, yep, flip corners, and you should be roughly the same. Money. Put your pickaxe right in the middle. Yeah, and just start trenching it out and we'll start measuring it. Let's cut these four by fours exactly 12 feet. To come outside and to breathe the fresh air, to see stuff grow, to have opportunities to do a hen house, to do hands-on construction is like, I never had that in my whole life coming to jail. Yeah, oh, I feel that. Yeah, it just keeps getting better. It let's us get away from being incarcerated. It just reconditions your mind and be able to work with uh, each other, you know, as a team. My addiction got in front of me. I mean, so to be here in the garden actually is helping me change my life and helping me to get work ethic. And now, like, I want to do everything that I'm doing now with the best I can. It's just good to be alive. Here's where we gotta do a little finessing. Now go right on down, send her home. When I hear the name unconditional freedom, there's nothing better than we all love is freedom. And why not make it unconditionally? Just like unconditional love, there's nothing better than that. I love it. Trust me, if I'm not complaining, you guys are doing good. My favorite moment was honestly watching you guys come out here today after the women had their day in the garden yesterday. It was like working together but separately and I watched them admire your work and you admire their work and it was really nice. I was impressed but also inspired by how hungry they were to learn it, how quickly they absorbed it and really took it in and made it their own thing that they wanted to contribute and put back into the jail. This jail right here has brought me joy to my life. To not see jail as just going into a place in darkness. Just a, a huge opportunity for all of us. 
I think that these guys who are out here building this are probably having the absolute best days of their lives and they're, they're having them right here in custody. They're putting their investment of labor in this. I think it's gonna mean a lot to these guys when we get done. Work always feels good. It always feels good to me, I don't know why. Everybody worked hard and I think everybody got along and everybody supported each other. Can I give you a hug? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, do, do that. I, t I told him he was going to be stopping by. Well, Rondo? So. Yeah. But he said he'll believe that when he sees yeah. it. <laughs> These are the things that we get to work together on and we get to be good and respectful to each other and we get to support each other. And I'm going to miss you guys when you're gone, but I don't want to see you back in here. I know what you mean. You guys gave me a stepping stool. I mean, you guys gave me something to thrive off of. You know what I mean? I could thrive off this. I could survive. I could live. This is the first jail that I've ever been to that you guys are really helping us, and I appreciate that very, very much. You guys also can help us to continue to help this idea grow in all these different jails around this country, and it will touch lives that you'll probably never meet, but it still will happen. And to me, that is just priceless, yes. and that's what is so valuable about this spark right here. And you guys proved it to me that it, it's worth it. What touches me the most, I think, is how you guys take care of each other. That is the entire point of this restorative justice program, is coming back to who you really are. It's always there inside of you. You can bring that forward, you can make it grow, and then you can give it away and give it to others. That's my wish for all of you.